Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Time. Today's movie recap will be a comedy and romance movie from 2023 called A Royal in Paradise. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a girl asking famous writer Olivia Perkin for her signature. Olivia happily signs the girl's book and smiles. As the girl walks away, Olivia's boyfriend Kyle shows up, tired from a long meeting. They're supposed to have a vacation soon, and Olivia excitedly talks about a trip to the Haven Islands. But instead of being happy, Kyle tells her he wants to break up. Olivia is stunned and tries to change his mind, but Kyle insists it's for the best. A month after their tough breakup, Olivia joins a video call with her publisher. She tells her publisher she's working on her next book's outline, but she hasn't written anything. Her manager stresses the importance of delivering the season's top book and gives her a strict 10-day deadline. Olivia vows to meet the deadline. In the imaginary country of Trovia, Prince Alexander is reading Lovebound, a novel by Olivia Perkins. He wishes for a break from his royal duties. However, his butler, Winston, reminds him of his packed schedule, including a big ball at their palace. Then, Winston gives him a letter from Dr. Lee, who runs a marine life conservatory in the Haven Islands, inviting him to a fundraiser that unfortunately is on the same day as the palace ball. Queen Patricia then enters and discusses her plans for Alexander to marry Catherine. Alexander doesn't want to marry her. He tells his mother about the clash in schedules and convinces her to let him attend the fundraiser to avoid bad publicity. Meanwhile, Olivia is in a New York bookstore when she bumps into Prince Alexander, causing books to fall. He helps her pick them up and mentions how much he liked Lovebound, not realizing she wrote it. He feels she looks familiar, but before he can figure it out, she leaves. Later, in her apartment, Olivia's friend Katie visits with food and they talk about Olivia's breakup and writer's block. Katie sees a brochure for the Haven Islands and suggests the trip might help with the writer's block. Olivia decides to take a week-long trip to the islands. After they arrive at their resort room on the tropical island, Katie heads straight for the pool while Olivia tries to focus on her writing. However, feeling stuck with her novel, Olivia decides to take a walk on the beach instead. During her walk, she unexpectedly sees her ex, Kyle, with another woman at the same resort. Panicking, she hides in the bushes to avoid being seen. Just then, Alexander, the charming man from the bookstore, approaches her from behind. He introduces himself and asks if she's okay. Embarrassed, Olivia makes up an excuse about admiring the plants. Alexander asks if she's seeking inspiration for her new book and apologizes for not recognizing her back in New York. Suddenly, Kyle and his new girlfriend, Tiffany, appear. Kyle explains he met Tiffany three months ago at a business meeting. Olivia is puzzled by Kyle's actions. He never wanted to vacation when they were together and was always busy with work. Later by the pool, Olivia vents about Kyle possibly cheating on her, but Katie is more interested in Alexander. That evening, Alexander visits the island's marine laboratory and is proud of the work there. He learns that Dr. Lee can't attend the upcoming fundraiser, which is vital for funding the lab, so he decides to host it himself. The next morning, Alexander and Winston run into Olivia and Katie during their walk. When asked, Alexander says they are part-time consultants for the Marine Reserve Fundraiser and invites the ladies to tour the resort's facilities. Katie is eager, and though hesitant at first, Olivia agrees after Katie persuades her. Later, the head of security for Queen Patricia, Ridley, observes the prince and reports that there's no cause for concern yet. The next day, while Alexander plans a kayaking trip, he tries to teach Olivia how to paddle, but she ends up falling into the water. She playfully pushes Alexander in two, and they share a laugh. Tiffany then invites them to play volleyball, and despite Kyle's comment that Olivia doesn't like sports, she joins in and pulls Alexander with her. They perform well and win, which annoys Kyle, who leaves abruptly with a puzzled Tiffany. After lunch, Alexander and Olivia take a walk on the beach, unaware that Ridley is monitoring them and reporting back to the Queen. During their walk, Alexander shares his passion for marine ecology, which his mother doesn't support. Olivia talks about her struggles with starting her new book and the looming deadline. Alexander compliments her creativity and reassures her that her fans would understand a delay. He invites her to the Marine Reserve fundraiser. However, their conversation is interrupted by Ridley, who is disguised as a hotel staff. He hands them a bottle of champagne as a gift, asks their names, and then leaves. He reports back to the Queen, informing her that Olivia comes from a working-class background. The Queen instructs Ridley to separate her son from the common girl. The next morning, Alexander meets Olivia and expresses how much he enjoys spending time with her. He is about to reveal his royal identity when Ridley shows up with a phone call from the Queen. Alexander ignores the call and tells Olivia that he is a prince and has lied about his profession. This revelation upsets Olivia and she walks away feeling betrayed. 
Back in her room, Olivia tells Katie everything about Alexander's true identity and how he lied for the past three days. Katie suggests that maybe Alexander just wanted to connect with people genuinely without overwhelming them. Suddenly, Alexander arrives, apologizing and promising not to keep any more secrets. Olivia forgives him and they agree to go out for lunch. Meanwhile, Ridley returns to Trovia after his duties on the Haven Islands. He calls the queen, who inquires if Alexander is truly interested in Olivia. Ridley confirms that the prince seems very happy, though he hesitates to elaborate on love, sensing the queen's mood. That afternoon, Olivia and Alexander spend time at the Haven Marine Reserve. Alexander shares his difficulties in writing the fundraiser's opening speech, struggling to express his feelings. After snorkeling together, which Olivia enjoys, she offers to help him with his speech. They then visit a secluded waterfall, a favorite spot of Alexander's father, where they discuss his father's environmental work and Alexander's wish to contribute more to the marine reserve. Returning from the waterfall, they encounter Kyle arguing with his girlfriend. Alexander steps away to take a call, leaving Olivia with Kyle. Kyle attempts to reconnect and even tries to hug Olivia, but she firmly rejects him, and he leaves quietly. On the night of the Marine Reserve fundraiser, Alexander, dressed formally, anxiously prepares for the event, concerned about how to tell Olivia he must soon leave. Olivia arrives looking stunning in a deep red gown, and together they head to the fundraiser where Alexander announces a new foundation to support the Marine Reserve. They share a dance and discuss her new novel about an ordinary girl finding love on an exotic island, thanking him for his help with her writer's block. They are about to kiss when Queen Patricia interrupts. During dinner, Olivia notices subtle interactions between the Queen and Ridley, suspecting a romantic involvement. The Queen critiques Olivia's writing, implying it's meant for less sophisticated readers, and humorously questions if her new book mocks the royal family. Olivia replies playfully that it doesn't yet, but it might change. Ridley then asks Alexander to join the fundraiser donors for photos, but his mother insists he mingles with the guests. Once alone with Olivia, the Queen asks if Olivia loves her son. Olivia's hesitation is taken as an affirmation by the Queen, who states bluntly that a commoner like her doesn't fit in a royal household and suggests Olivia leave without telling Alexander. Hurt, Olivia silently leaves the party. Outside, Kyle sees her tearful and expresses concern about her relationship with the prince, admitting he always felt she deserved better. He apologizes for his past errors and tries to reconcile, but Olivia walks away. Back in her room, Olivia tells Katie everything, and they decide to leave the Haven Islands. Before boarding a boat, Katie texts Winston about their departure. The next morning, Alexander finds Olivia's room empty and reads the text from Katie. Realizing his mother's actions likely drove Olivia away, he confronts the queen during breakfast with Ridley. The queen stands firm on maintaining royal traditions over personal relationships. Alexander counters, highlighting his sacrifices and the queen's romantic dilemma with Ridley. Surprised by his revelation, the queen admits Ridley was supportive after her husband's death, but pursuing a relationship could cause a scandal. Frustrated with the restrictions, Alexander urges his mother to value their happiness. Back in New York, Olivia resumes her novel, ending it sadly when the main characters part ways, differing from her usual happy endings. During a video call, her manager praises the plot but worries about the sad ending, as readers prefer uplifting tales. Olivia contends that not all stories have fairy tale endings. Suddenly, Alexander, along with Katie and Winston, arrives at her door, declaring his love and refusing to leave without her. The Queen, also in New York with Ridley, appreciates Olivia for helping her see that old-fashioned views shouldn't obstruct family happiness. She blesses Olivia and Alexander's relationship before leaving for a romantic meal with Ridley. The movie ends with a kiss between Alexander and Olivia, as her manager, listening in, suggests she consider a happy ending for her novel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care and see you next time.